Headed out west to Colorado from Kansas. Going to find out if I'm allowed to do spark from state to state. Going to enjoy the 4th of July on this trip. But I thought I'd show you guys, if you're a spark driver, if you can go from state to state. So come along, enjoy this 4th of July with me. Let's go. We've arrived in beautiful Durango, Colorado. What a wonderful trip out from Newton, Kansas, through the mountains, down these gigantic slopes to get into Durango, Colorado. What a gorgeous community this is. This community has the most gorgeous scenery, mountains, rivers, wonderful downtown. They've even got a steam engine train that you can ride from Durango to Silverton, Colorado. And the beauty is unsurpassed by anywhere I've seen in a long time. If you live near Durango, I suggest coming down here and checking this out. This is an amazing place to be. And I'm here to show you guys that not only is it gorgeous, but can you spark in Colorado if you're a spark driver? from Kansas. I was curious about this topic when I first became a Spark driver because with DoorDash and Uber Eats and Grubhub, if you want to make a move from state to state, you have to reach out to those companies and you have to let them know that you're going to be moving and what zone you're going to be moving to in that state, what cities in that area. And you can make that move, but it's not as efficient um, as just going from state to state and being able to continue running the apps. So I am happy to tell every single Spark driver watching or those who are interested in being a Spark driver, the number one reason for this video is to tell you all, yes, you can deliver from state to state. You can go from Kansas to Colorado in any community that has Spark available at their Walmart or Home Depot, you can just start working in that community. How awesome of a situation is this? My family's on vacation and we are planning on doing a week long vacation, but now we can potentially prolong our trip if we wanted to 
because we have the availability for me to be able to go work a few days or a few evenings or a few afternoons and make some extra cash and continue our vacation. For all Spark drivers out there, you really need to know this is possible for you. If you want to go on a trip with your family and you need to just stop in at a community and make some extra cash, you're staying in a hotel in a community that has a Walmart that operates through Spark, you can stop there, pick up an order or two, make some extra cash for dinner, maybe gas money, maybe a hotel fees. How cool is that? You could also utilize your Spark app to discover new parts of the country that you've never discovered. And you could go there and make money while you're traveling to see these places so you can continue putting gas in your car, paying for hotels, paying for food, maybe even give you the opportunity to move to different communities and discover what it's really like to live in that part of the country and those communities and those states, wherever you want to go. Spark has hit the nail on the head with this one, allowing drivers to go from state to state all over this country where there's Walmarts all over for us to be able to utilize gives this platform a giant leg up on the other platforms that are available. DoorDash drivers, Uber Eats drivers, Grubhub drivers, all the like need to think about and get on with Spark for this gigantic availability that they have for you. I am thrilled to know that I can do this. I'm thrilled to share this information with all of you Spark drivers that are watching. I am going to go now through a couple orders. I've been getting orders since I've been here. Maybe do a couple shopping orders, maybe do a couple pickup orders to see what's different here in Colorado. Completed the first sh shopping order and there are a few things to note. The number one thing to note would be making sure that your cell phone coverage is available in the community that you're going to go to or in the state that you're going to go to because I have AT&T and I typically have pretty good coverage in most places so I wasn't really thinking about that but as I started to do the shopping I couldn't scan the item to get to the checkout so I had to stop and get on the Walmart Wi-Fi to complete the shopping process. So you're gonna really want to consider checking if your cell phone carrier is available in the community or state or area, region, whatever that you're gonna be going to, because otherwise you're gonna be really having a hard time dealing with the shopping orders for sure and potentially the pickup orders as well uh, more so the shopping because there's so many times you need to scan things and processes you have to go through to complete those orders. So double check your cell phone coverage before traveling. And at the checkout procedure on the app, it's going to ask you how many bags did you use for this order. You need to put in the number of bags you used for that order. And you're going to have to hit enter and then bag your items and move along or cart your items and move along, whatever. There are some 74 cent bags that are reusable, but I do not think or recommend you choosing those bags for the customer because I don't think that's what's set up through the Spark app. So those are the two major differences so far, at least on one Spark shopping order that I see. Cell phone coverage, make sure you've got it in that community and understand that bagging will be added to the customer's order when you're checking out. Let's see if we can get another order, maybe a pickup, and see if that's any different. If not, we'll do a shopping order again and we'll see how that goes. Again, I'll go through it and see if there's any differences uh, that I can uh, tell you guys about so you're aware before you come out and you do this kind of traveling spark uh, type work. So second offer I received is a pickup order, two customers, five miles, $23, really nice looking order. One thing to note for all you watching is that the dispatch time was no different than 
what I have back in Newton, Kansas. My dispatch there is 935. This order came in at 935, just like it would back home. So nice to see that. You're going to have to start to learn if you're driving around from state to state. That may be different. Walmarts have different things going on. And uh, found that out right now that the dispatch time is the same. So I know what to look for when it comes to the pickup orders, at least. So that's nice and helpful. I'm curious to see again how this bagging situation is with the two customers' orders coming out. We'll see how they deal with loading and things like that and let you guys know how the order turns out from the pickup to the delivery. Completed those two orders now, and uh, the only difference that I could see on this pickup order was that when I got to the customers, there were two customers, but the app never asked me to scan the barcodes on the bags so i don't know if that's a new update just from the spark app from when i left kansas to getting here to colorado or if that's a change that is in the state of colorado that they don't require that i'm not really sure but that was a slight difference in the situation that i was just noticing and it might just kind of throw you off so you're going to want to make sure that you have your stickers on your bags to know which customers groceries you're actually going to be taking up to the porch because you'd hate to mix them up, not have stickers on the bags and mix up the groceries, causing yourself more struggle with your orders. So just a note of that. Just completed the third order as a shopping order. And two things to note on this shopping order. First of all, the drop down map that Walmart provides drivers when you're doing shopping orders is gonna be a must for those who are in a community that you're not familiar with the store. So be familiarized with how to get to your drop down map and how to utilize that to make your shopping experience more efficient. Second, the security isn't very tight at this. Walmart, no ID checks, hardly any cart checks. You can use any checkout you'd like. So that's a lot different than the Walmart that I'm typically delivering with where they want to check every single item. They want to see your ID. They want to see your phone. They want to see that you have all your items in your cart that you say you're supposed to have. This has actually become more efficient for me, which is more enjoyable. So that's kind of neat to see that that can fluctuate depending where you are. And then the only thing that really was different was at the door, there's a security lady and she wanted to see my receipt. But as soon as I showed her that I was a spark driver, she could have cared less. And she said, have a nice day. So we got through this run here in Durango. We did six shopping orders over the duration of this video. And we did two pickup orders. And like I mentioned in the video, the four things that I noticed were different throughout the entire time doing these orders were making sure you have your cell phone service in the region or town or state that you're going to be going to that would be crucial to begin with the second thing would be the bagging situation at the store in colorado at least they're going to require you to bag the customers items and then let them know how many bags you used uh, so that's a little bit different not a big deal the third thing is going to be utilization of the map while shopping because the shopping experience will go a lot smoother because you most likely will get a little bit lost, a little bit turned around. And then the fourth item would be not having to scan the barcodes when you get to the customers on the deliveries when there's two or three different customers items in your car. So you're going to want to really organize your vehicle well so that way customers items are not mixed up and you don't accidentally take those items to the front door. So that would be the four things that I really noticed. Everything else was pretty smooth and fairly similar to what I'm used to. I really think this would be very easy for anybody to pick up on as they're going and learning these new stores or traveling the country to do Spark, or maybe you just need to do it on a vacation like I have. No big changes really, just a few tips there for you. And again, the biggest note, you can travel from state to state while being a spark driver. I had a lot of fun making this video, beautiful scenery here in Durango, but now I'm gonna go enjoy the 4th of July with my family. You all stay safe, happy 4th of July.